Hey guys, hey girls, hey boys. If you're new to my channel, my name is Madi, also known as Marvajari here on YouTube. Hello, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on this makeup look right here. This is um, a makeup look for whether you're going out with your girls, girls night out, a date night with your mans, or if you're single, you want to go to the club, or even if you're not single, you want to go to the club, want to get lit. This is the makeup look that I feel like is the best fit for those categories. Um, obviously, this is my take on that. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing in this video. I'm also giving you guys a little bit of a life update because a lot has gone down. A lot has happened since I last sat down and filmed a makeup tutorial and talked to you guys. So I'm updating you guys a lot in this video. So stay tuned for that but yeah before we get into this video make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so you're notified every single time your girl posts and without further ado let's get right into the video it's just water I promise all right guys so hello welcome back i have so much to update you guys on but first I am still getting over a sick I've literally had this sickness for about 10 days now and I finally went to the doctors and I got some medicine so this sh better be gone by my birthday my birthday is next week it is currently November 5th I am filming this and my birthday is on November 11th so I'm praying that I'm healed by the weekend because I got a lot of stuff to do all right so for today's tutorial I'm pretty much just gonna do like a night out type of makeup look like whether you're gonna go to the club whether you're going to a party or just something that's a little more darker than a usual everyday makeup look when it comes to a night out makeup look i still like to do something that's in my comfort zone because i know i will like it whether it's like the browns dark browns nudes i'm in like that category sometimes i'll be a little bold and, and do some color but i like to stay in my comfort zone which is the brown areas so Let's just get right into it. I think I want to do my face first because it gives me a better vision and I got so sunburned. I just came back from Hawaii. Uh, I was up there for a week and I did not wear any makeup. Like only like, probably like one day out of the entire trip I wore makeup so my face got so sunburned. I used so much sunscreen. It didn't help. I got so tan. I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera. But yeah, I'm going to start off with my face base. And then we'll move on from there. So I already moisturized my face using my Ola Henriksen Sea Rush um, Brightening Gel Cream. So I kind of just like to use my moisturizers as my primer because, I don't know, sometimes primer just doesn't work for me. But yeah, so I already did that. And now for foundation, I'm going back to an oldie but a goodie, my Born This Way foundation. I'm going back to this one because I got tan, like I said. So this one is a lot darker than my Joseph Colors one, even though I love my Joseph Color foundation, I don't have my shade in it, so I'm just going to use this one, and this is in the shade Natural Beige, and I'm running out, so I have to use the freaking applicator, and I'm going to blend out this foundation using my Joseph Colors Beauty Sponge. So, um, I have not posted a video since my Hawaii trip, obviously, but that's like more of a vlog style. Um, and I noticed you guys like makeup tutorials rather than vlogs on my channel, so I'm just gonna stick to that. Um, so, let me update you guys real quick. Um, on October 25th, I believe, which was like a week or two ago, I actually went to LA to do a photo shoot with Alondra and Elsie. I'm pretty sure you guys know who they are. I'll put a picture right here, just so you guys know. Um, I won their giveaway and I pretty much did a whole entire photo shoot with them like for Alondra's lash um, brand which is Lash Bar LA she was launching a new collection which is called Girls Night Out and I got to be the model for one of the lashes so that was super exciting for me so I did vlog the entire experience so that vlog is coming but just out of respect I don't want to post my vlog or post anything that Alondra and Elsie have not posted yet or like released because I would hate to be the one to like show something that wasn't ready or show something that Alondra wanted to show first so once she gets everything out once she releases her launch and everything is kind of out there then I will post my vlog so you guys can see like the behind the scenes of the entire 
photo shoot so yeah it was super fun I don't want to tell you guys too much because I literally just like showed the entire experience in my vlog so that should be up either in a week or maybe like soon after this video goes up I'm not too sure um, when or how this is all gonna go up but yes stay tuned for that vlog because it is such a good one and I just want to say thank you so much to Alondra and Elsie for giving me the opportunity because like you guys know how hard I work for our, like my makeup career or I don't know how to explain it but I felt like that gave me even more confidence and more of a push to go even harder on like a platform that I'm trying to build so oh, you guys understand like how and how much of an amazing experience how much of an amazing opportunity that was for me so I'm so excited for you guys to see that vlog and if you follow me on Instagram or Alondra or Elsie you guys will see a lot more because that is more of like a live following of me and them you can see everything like super quick as for YouTube I have to edit and all that stuff but I will give you guys a little sneak peek right here of the photo shoot that I took with them and I just I can't thank them enough really honestly they gave me like such an amazing opportunity all right so now for concealer I'm using my Too Faced bonus weight concealer and this is in the shade light beige and then again using the same Joseph color sponge to blend that out all right so what else can I update you guys on um, so I just came back from Hawaii like I said I was out there for a week with my family and now I have about a few more days until I go back to LA for Alondra's launch party and 23rd birthday party so you guys I'm so excited for that because you guys know Alondra and Elsie party hard so I'm like preparing and I'm so excited because not only that but it's that my birthday is that midnight and I turned 21 so you guys know it's about to be a fun night and not only that, after the launch party, I come home, I fly back home on my birthday, and then I'm gonna celebrate with my family. And then the next day, I leave to New York at 5 a.m. <clears throat> so that's why, like, I need to heal up. And also, I'm just so excited because I've been wanting to go to New York for so long. And I was like, you know what? Let me just book it. It's my birthday, 21st birthday. Why not go and experience that? So me and Angel will be in New York for a few days for my birthday. And that will be another vlog that I'll be having on mine and Angel's channel. So I'll have that link down below. And also, I bought so much, like so many outfits for New York from Shein. So if you guys want like a winter slash fall haul or like a lookbook in New York, I have a few ideas in mind. But let me know in the comments down below. Would you guys like to see with those outfits? I also plan on vlogging at the party, but I'm like, I don't know how that's gonna go. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. <laughs> and then I'm applying a little bit more of my other bonus weight concealer, which is in the shade Vanilla. This one's a little lighter. I really like a bright under eye, so I added a little bit of that. And I'm just gonna blend that in. Okay, so that's set under my eyes. I'm taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And you guys know the drill, I just pretty much make sure everything is blended out and not creasing. And then I go in with the powder to bake. And I really like to pack it right here, like on this area because I get more pores. So I just like kind of go ham because it really just blurs it out. Not only that, but I like to use a lot because it gets very oily in this area. So. If I'm gonna be out dancing, having fun, I'm probably gonna get oily, so I like to make sure this area right here is all set. And then I put some on my nose. I'm trying to limit the amount of powder for like this week because I'm super like sunburned, so my nose is peeling. So if I put hella powder, it just looks like it's just trying to come off. Okay, so I just put the Laura Mercier powder right there. And then I go into my Huda Beauty powder. I love this powder because it is not flashback whatsoever. So you want to make sure you're not going to have like a little flashback moment, especially if you're going out. You're probably going to be taking some flash photography if you're inside of a club or if it's dark. Usually if you go out, it's like at night. So I like to make sure I use stuff that is not flashback. So I am taking my Morphe MB2 brush and applying that Huda Beauty powder all over. Again, I like to really make sure 
my face is all set because I'm probably going to be having a little oily moment when going out at night. And I'm in the shade Banana Bread, by the way, if you were wondering. Yeah, so wherever you get the most oily, pack that powder. All right, so I'm going to stop for the face right here, and then we're going to zoom into the eyes, do all that jazz, and then we'll go back to the face. All right, so I have a few palettes in front of me that I have in mind that I want to use. So I'm starting off with my Dose of Colors Frankation palette. So I'm going to take the shade right here, which is just like a light brown a neutral color. I believe it is the shade Necessary. And this color is going to be used um, to start off as my transition shade in the crease. And I'm using a Morphe M441 brush to apply it. So I like to start off with a light brown shade, and then I'll work my way down to the darker tones to really give it that, like night out vibe okay so now going into my Jackie Ina palette I'm going to take the shade ginger which is a like warmer brown but it's also a lot darker and I'm taking a Morphe M514 brush to apply that okay just had a bit of a breakdown because my skin is still dry because it's sunburned and it literally just started breaking apart right here so I had to take off my foundation and redo it so as I was saying, I'm going into my Jackie Ina palette and taking the shade Ginger and that's going to be applied in the outer corner but also into the crease to darken it up. Okay, so I'm also going to darken up a little more and take the shade Credit and I'm using that same Morphe M514 brush to apply it. This one you want to go very lightly because it's very pigmented. Alright, so now for the lid shade, I'm going to go into this Constellation palette by Folk, Folk Color. This color right here, which is Capricorn, it's so freaking pretty, so I think I'm going to put that as my lid shade. And I'm going to use my finger to apply it. Oh yes gorgeous this one's more of a topper so it gives just like that glittery effect without the annoyance of glitter falling everywhere this color is pretty because it kind of has like a pink or rose gold hint to it but then it also gives like that iridescent shimmer vibe and it's super buttery as well and then I'm going to go back with that credit shade just to darken up the outer corner a little more. And then go back in with the transition shade to bring a little bit more of that color back up here. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and line the eyes just a little bit before I put on my lashes. So I'm taking my NYX um, Vinyl Liquid Liner. Okay, so the lashes I'm going to be using are from the Lash Bar LA in the style Ibiza. So this is from the Girls Night Out collection. So I wanted to do like a night out makeup look and then use like the collection from Lash Bar LA, which was the campaign that I was in. I actually wore the style Ibiza and I'm obsessed with them. So honestly, I think any style of the lashes from the Girls Night Out collection will look amazing with this eye look, but I only have Ibiza with me right now. So that's what I'm going to be using. And these are more of like the natural style from the collection, but if I had the super glam ones, that would literally just make this look. But again, I only have Ibiza, so I'm just going to go ahead and pop these babies on and the girl will be right back. Alright, so now I have these babies on. Look how gorgeous these are. I'm obsessed with them. They're, they're not too much, but they're also like enough, you know? So now that I have the lashes on, I'm going to go ahead and smoke out my lower lash lines. So I'm pretty much going to use the matte shadows that I used on my eyes, which were from the Frankation palette. And then I have Ginger and Credit from Jackie Ina's palette. So that's pretty much what I do um, when I do my eyeshadow. I kind of just use like every eyeshadow that I use on my eyes onto my lower lash line. But I start off using my small angled brush, which is the E65 from Sigma. And I take the darker shade and pretty much just line my lower lash line first to give it like that eyeliner effect without actually having to use eyeliner. So I'm taking the shade Credit from the Jackie Ina palette. And 
And now I'm going to take a BH Cosmetics pencil brush and take the shade Ginger from the Jackie Ina palette and the shade Necessary from the Frankation palette. And then I pretty much just smoke out the lower lash line. <clears throat> my god, my voice is everywhere right now. Alright, so now I'm going to get my mascara and apply it onto my lower lash line. I'm just using my CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion Mascara to do that. I love a bold lower lash. I know some people don't like that, but I'm obsessed with the way it looks. Alright, and then I'm going to hide the inner corner, but I'll do that at the end because I like how it just brings everything together with my highlight. So I'm going to zoom you guys back out and we are going to finish this face. So I'm going in with my favorite bronzer which is by Benefit, the Hula Bronzer. And I am taking a Real Techniques multitask brush to start it off by applying and then I go in with more brushes later. You will see. So yes, I'm taking my Hula Bronzer and my Real Techniques multitask brush to bronze the face. You guys, I can't believe I'm already turning 21. Like I still feel like, well just kidding, I actually do feel older but... Yeah, I'm turning 21 and it's crazy to me because we've all like, I feel like live up to this day like when we're younger. Like, oh, when I'm 21, I'm going to do this. When I'm 21, I'm going to do that. And I would have never thought I'm going to New York on my 21st birthday, but I'm so freaking excited. You guys you have no idea. I just like, I've seen so many pictures of like Times Square and I don't know. A lot of people are like, oh, it's not that nice. Like it's dirty, but like. I don't care like I, I want to experience that for myself like if it's dirty then I'll figure that out but oh, I'm, I'm just so excited and I'm excited to like be all bundled up in winter in winter clothes because I live in like the Bay Area so it's cold but it's not like snowy cold so yeah I'm so excited I bought so like I bought like pea coats fur coats and oh, I just can't wait Okay, so now to bronze my nose. I've been using this brush for like three years now and it does not have a name but I got it from the Makeup Shack and it just looks like this. I really don't know what it's called. It just came like this. I think it's like a dupe for the NARS one so yeah. I just use this to bronze the nose. Not too much of a contour just to give me some warmth on my nose. I pretend I'm contouring but I don't know how to contour my nose. And then I go in with this crown brush to Add some more bronze to the face. I feel like since it's an angled brush, it really helps just like chisel out the cheekbones. Now for the blush, I am taking my MAC Gingerly Blush. I'm using Urban Studio Stippling 204 brush to apply that. I love blush. It's crazy to me how like I used to freaking hate using blush. Like people be like, oh, use this. I'm like... Ill, no, but now I'm obsessed with blush. I literally just put it everywhere. Look at how it just brings everything together. All right, and then I'm gonna spray my face using my Morphe X Jeffree Star. I just love the setting spray because it reminds me of Strawberry Shortcake. I was a huge fan of Strawberry Shortcake when I was younger, so this smells like the toy that I used to have, and it just brings back so many memories. So, yes, I'm using this to set the face. And then I'm going to use a little more after I put my highlight. So just like the first round, don't get it twisted. And now for the highlight, I am taking my Ofra Rodeo Drive highlight. This one is like super blinding. I love it. So if you want to look extra glowy, I highly suggest the Rodeo Drive. And I'm using a Morphe M310 fan brush. I think I want to use my... Morphe M510 brush. So I use Rodeo Drive and I'm going to go in with my go-to highlight which is a MAC O oh Darling highlight. This like I have to mix it in with every highlight I use. It just, I don't know, it just brings everything together. And very little on the nose. And then I'm going to take the Rodeo Drive highlight and apply that into my inner corner. So I'm using a Morphe M515 brush to apply that highlight into the inner corner. I like to match my inner corner highlight with my face highlight. I just feel like it brings everything together. Okay, so that one's a little too dark for my liking, so I'm going to go back into my Jackie Ina palette and take the shade 
trust issues which is more of like an icy white iridescent shade and i'm going to apply that into the inner corner perfect perfect and then i'm going to spray my face one last time okay so two more steps and then we're done so i'm taking my 24 hour brow setter by benefit to set these brows i like to comb up and then brush to the side all right so now for the lips i'm taking my la girl i believe this is keep it spicy lip liner and then I'm going to use my main um, liquid lipstick. This is like the satin lipstick from the Desi X Katie collection with those of colors. And then I'm going to pop in, or pop in, not pop, uh, Supernatural by those of colors and right in the center. It just gives it like the perfect look. Alright guys, so that concludes today's video. I just wanted to do a fun night out, girls night out makeup look. The look that you usually would wear when you go out with your girls, go out with your man for a date night, want to go to a club, whatever the occasion might be. My, whatever the occasion may be, this is my go-to look. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be on the lookout for behind the scenes of the photo shoot that I did. Um, the video will be coming very soon, so make sure you have your post notification bell on so you get notified when the video is up so yeah that is all for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment down below which you like to see in the future please subscribe don't forget to subscribe to my angels channel which is mar bajari and angel no longer mna forever ever we changed it um the link will be down below make sure to go and subscribe because there is a hawaii vlog coming and a new york vlog coming very soon so make sure you go and subscribe stay blooming and i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching bye